pilots, you proud Seattle team. Go, go, you pilots, go out and build a dream. You brought the majors to the Evergreen World Twice. Now go, go, you pilots, you're going to be the best. Thousands and thousands of people were downtown Seattle because Seattle now in the major leagues of baseball. And they were so overjoyed that this finally was going to take place. And they embraced the pilot team. It was terrific. It was a big deal, 1969 in Seattle, to have a second major pro sports team. The Sonics came in 1967. This would be seven years after the Seattle World's Fair in 1962 that I think probably put Seattle on the map uh, nationally for things other than sports. And then to have two pro sports franchises arrive in the same decade, well, it was heady times. Go, you pilots, go! Under the bluest sky! Go, you pilots, go! Even if you weren't born then, even if you've moved to Seattle only recently, the story of this thing is still fascinating. And it's still, I think, from those people who are have been here, who have those memories, there's a, there's a certain affection for that period in Seattle sports history. In the summertime, the bluest skies you've ever seen, yeah. With Barry Como sings. I don't want to wake from this dream, yeah. Seattle's got a big league team. Seattle's got a big league team. The, the utter freakiness of the pilots, a one-year team. And there was so much goofiness that uh, Bouton immortalized that it, the, the team and its image, just the idea of a one-year team, became endearing. They were just a, a marvelous collection of guys. Uh, Fred Talbot, Ray Euler. Uh, Don Mincher, these guys were just fantastic. It was as if somebody put this team together and said, well, they're not going to win many ball games, but if somebody writes a book, this is a heck of a ball club.